Welcome to Global Current, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more breaking updates. Imagine a message in a bottle, tossed into the vast endless ocean of space, adrift, uncertain if it will ever be found, yet carrying a piece of its sender's soul. For nearly half a century, humanity's bottle has been Voyager 2, a silent traveler on a journey no other human creation has ever taken. Launched in 1977, this remarkable machine has traveled farther than any other emissary from Earth, venturing into the unknown with only our hopes and questions as its guide. Voyager 2 is more than a probe, it's a symbol of our curiosity and longing to connect, carrying a golden record that whispers, we were here, to the cosmos, an invitation to any who might listen. It's outlasted expectations, sending back data from so far away that its signals take nearly a day to reach us, crossing billions of kilometers of emptiness. Each faint whisper is a triumph, a postcard from the frontier, proof that we can reach beyond our world and touch the unknown. Voyager 2 embodies our ambition to not just wonder, but to go and see for ourselves, to explore what lies beyond the horizon. It sailed past giant planets, weathered cosmic storms, and pushed the boundaries of possibility, revealing the wonders and dangers of the solar system. Now, on the edge of interstellar space, it continues its lonely vigil, a sentinel at the solar system's border, standing watch where sunlight fades and the stars grow cold. Its mission has become a modern epic, inspiring new generations to dream of the stars, to imagine what lies beyond, and to believe that exploration is part of who we are. Voyager 2 isn't just a relic, it's our most distant outpost, still reshaping our understanding of the cosmos, and reminding us that our reach can extend far beyond our sight. As it drifts farther into darkness, it carries the hopes of an entire planet, a single point of light in the galaxy, a testament to our desire to be known. It is, quite simply, our voice calling out into the cosmic ocean, an echo of humanity, forever seeking connection in the vastness of space. Voyager 2's story began with a rare planetary alignment, a cosmic choreography that set the stage for one of humanity's most ambitious explorations. This alignment, an event that occurs only once every 175 years, offered a unique window to visit the outer planets in a single grand tour. NASA scientists seized this fleeting chance devising a plan to use the gravity of each giant planet as a cosmic slingshot. This ingenious maneuver would propel Voyager 2 from one world to the next, allowing it to visit Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune in a single continuous journey, something never before attempted. At Jupiter, Voyager 2 captured breathtaking images of swirling storms and revealed the planet's turbulent atmosphere. It also made a groundbreaking discovery, volcanic activity on Io, Jupiter's moon, the first time active volcanoes were seen beyond Earth, forever changing our understanding of the solar system. Saturn's rings, once believed to be solid bands, were shown by Voyager 2 to be made up of thousands of icy ringlets, each orbiting in a delicate balance. The spacecraft's close-up images revealed intricate gaps and structures, painting a new picture of this iconic planet. Voyager 2 then became the first probe to visit Uranus and Neptune, venturing into the unknown. It uncovered new moons, faint rings, and mysterious storms swirling in the blue-green atmospheres, worlds that had never before been seen up close. At Neptune, Voyager 2 discovered supersonic winds racing across the planet and witnessed geysers erupting from the icy surface of Triton, Neptune's largest moon, evidence of dynamic processes far from the sun's warmth. After its historic planetary tour, Voyager 2's path carried it out of the plane of the planets into the vast uncharted territory between the stars, a journey into the true unknown. Its extended mission became a quest to explore the very edge of our solar system, where the sun's influence fades and the interstellar medium begins, a boundary known as the heliopause. Voyager 2's journey is a voyage from the familiar to the utterly alien, a mission that continues to inspire, as it sends messages from the edge of our solar neighborhood, venturing ever deeper into the cosmic ocean. The edge of the solar system isn't a wall but a vast invisible bubble, the heliosphere created by the sun's solar wind. This bubble shields us from harsh cosmic radiation, defining the sun's kingdom. At its edge the solar wind collides with the interstellar medium, forming the heliopause, the true frontier. 
Crossing the heliopause means leaving the sun's influence and entering interstellar space. In 2018, Voyager 2 crossed this boundary, detecting a dramatic drop in solar particles and a surge in cosmic rays. This made it only the second human-made object to enter interstellar space, providing a unique perspective. Its crossing at a different location than Voyager 1 gave us a second vital data point. These discoveries help us understand our cosmic neighborhood and the shield that makes life possible. Voyager 2's journey at the edge is rewriting our understanding of the solar system's borderland. In late 2025, Voyager 2 sent back data that stunned scientists just beyond the heliopause. It found a region where the plasma is far hotter than expected. This wall of fire isn't literal flames, but a superheated layer, temperatures reaching tens of thousands of degrees. Instead of a cool transition, the boundary is a dynamic, fiery frontier. The leading theory, as the sun's bubble collides with the interstellar medium, friction and magnetic fields generate immense heat. It's as if our solar system is encased in a shell of superheated gas, a boundary we never knew existed. This discovery changes our entire picture of the solar system's edge. Voyager 2 proves that direct exploration reveals surprises no model can predict. Imagine Voyager 2 as a boat leaving a calm, sheltered river and venturing out into the vast, unpredictable sea. For years, it drifted along the gentle current of our solar system, protected and familiar, but now it faces the unknown. Scientists expected a smooth, almost unnoticeable transition, but instead, it's as if the boat suddenly slammed into a band of boiling, churning water, an invisible force that no one anticipated. The temperature didn't just rise, it spiked dramatically, revealing an unforeseen and mysterious phenomenon at the very edge of our solar system. This so-called wall of fire is that boiling band, a shock not just to Voyager, but to our entire understanding of what lies beyond. It's not just a passive boundary, it's an energetic engine, a region where immense heat and energy are generated as the solar wind collides with the interstellar medium. Imagine it like a sonic boom, but on a cosmic scale, our solar system plows through the galaxy, creating a thermal boom at its edge, a shockwave of heat and energy. Voyager 2's plasma spectrometer didn't just observe this from afar, it directly measured these superheated, energetic particles giving us our first real data from this frontier. This isn't just theory or speculation, it's a message sent back from the very edge, a direct report from the frontier of our solar system. The universe, it turns out, is far more complex, dynamic, and even violent than we ever imagined, filled with forces and boundaries we're only beginning to understand. The simplicity of the phrase wall of fire helps us grasp the scale of what Voyager encountered, but the data it sent back tells a much deeper, more intricate story. Voyager 2's findings are forcing scientists to rethink the very shape and nature of our cosmic shoreline, redrawing the boundaries of our solar system. The cosmos always has another trick up its sleeve, revealing new mysteries just when we think we've reached the end. Each new discovery is a powerful reminder of how much we have yet to learn, and how every answer leads to even more questions. Voyager 2's journey isn't just rewriting the map of our solar system's edge, it's opening a new chapter in our quest to understand the universe. You might wonder, why does a hot layer of gas billions of kilometers away matter to you? This wall of fire and the heliosphere form a cosmic shield, protecting Earth from deadly cosmic rays. The superheated layer may act as an extra buffer, filtering particles before they reach us. Understanding this shield helps us protect satellites, astronauts, and even our power grids. It also shapes our search for life. Other worlds may need similar shields to be habitable. Discoveries like this inspire curiosity, drive innovation, and remind us of our place in the universe. Voyager 2's journey enriches our culture and expands our perspective. What's next for Voyager 2? Its power is fading and soon instruments will be shut down one by one. Yet, its journey through interstellar space continues, a silent ambassador from Earth. Voyager 2 will keep measuring the galactic environment, sending back data from uncharted territory. Every packet of information is a revelation, a piece of a puzzle we're only beginning to solve. In 40,000 years, it will pass near another star. In 296,000 years, it will drift by Sirius. Its mission is measured in millennia, a project that outlasts us all. Launching Voyager 2 was a profoundly hopeful act, a message to a future we'll never see. Its legacy is a beacon of inspiration, showing what we achieve when we're curious and daring. The quest for knowledge is endless, there's always another frontier. As new missions follow in Voyager's path, we remember, the universe is waiting, filled with wonders. The journey continues.